Clubhouse is a brand new audio based social media application that's making the rounds and in the last few months it's completely taken off. Celebrities, CEOs, politicians have really started to embrace it and I'm excited about Clubhouse because it's fundamentally changing social media. Close your eyes and just give me 30 seconds and I'll explain. See, audio is special. It's incredibly intimate and it's how we communicate and how we get our thoughts across. In most social media apps, we're throwing things over the wall, things that we believe in, things that we're excited about, but we're just posting text and images back and forth. We're not really engaging. We're not connecting. We're doing all these activities to communicate, but our friends, our colleagues, most of them will give us just a thumbs up or a heart. We're not really creating those deep connections, deep engagements, and dialogue. Clubhouse is different. The main difference is you're not just throwing text and images over the wall hoping for a thumbs up or some validation. You're engaging a dialogue. You're getting immediate feedback and you can hear it in people's voices. You can hear it in the reactions that you're getting, whether people are agreeing with you, whether there's pushback and there's great dialogue. It really feels like an engaging dinner party and conversation and because it's audio, you really feel that people are inside your head. You're able to have a much deeper connection and really hear the tonality of people's voice and where they're coming from. That emphasis is so important and emojis and other pictograms don't really get that across in other applications. Because it's unfiltered and unedited and live, it's also really easy to engage and create content. Simply by opening up a room and having a conversation, you're able to really engage and make those connections right off the bat. The experience of Clubhouse is that you're presented with different rooms and you can enter room and choose what you want to do. You can either participate and join the conversation by raising your hand or you can hang back in the audience and really listen to it just like you would a podcast or talk radio. But unlike other audio experiences, the conversation feels much more authentic because it's live, it's audio, and it's uncut. You really feel that it's an unfiltered experience and it gives you an intimate and very genuine perspective of other people who are speaking. You can be in a room with Elon Musk or Mr. Beast from YouTube, Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank, and you really get a peek into what these people are thinking and how they're approaching the world. And unlike other social media apps where people are trying to get you to click on a link or follow them and like them. Right now there's no clicking on links, there's no typing of text, it's really just an open exchange of ideas and that makes it really special and unique. Clubhouse is all very new and it does have some issues. First and foremost, it's currently invite only. The exclusivity is helping Clubhouse grow, but it means that you may not be able to get on there right away. I'll explain why the invite structure is so unique and why it's helping them succeed. The other thing that's kind of a drawback is that it's currently iPhone only. Again, this will change over time, but if you're an Android green bubble, you'll have to hold on for a bit. The third drawback is that the app currently sends an absolute mountain of push notifications. A lot of these are way over the top and too much, and they definitely need to do some tuning on that front. But on the flip side, it is creating a very social and very engaging application experience. From a startup perspective, Clubhouse is doing something really smart with their onboarding. It's something that very few startups get right, and it's something that's really important in terms of scaling, and that's social density. Many social networks, when they launch, they really push a product out into the world and they encourage everyone and anyone to download it and try it. And what happens is you download that application, very few of your friends, very few of your network connections have that application as well, and it leads to a poor user experience. When Facebook launched, they got it right. They launched just within Harvard University, and that meant they had a very high amount of social density. The typical person who was logging into the platform were seeing lots of their friends already on the platform, and that made the application experience much stickier. Clubhouse is doing something very similar with their invite experience. When they invite you to the platform, they are prioritizing the people who have the most common connections on Clubhouse. In fact, they're sorting your contact list by who has the most connections. And so that means they're prioritizing people who have social density. The other smart thing they're doing is that as soon as you sign on, all your mutual connections get a notification inviting you to a room to welcome them. When this works, it just feels like magic. You sign up for an application randomly on the App Store, you download it, and all of a sudden you're talking to your friends. It's a really magical experience when it works. Unfortunately, all of the push notifications make it not quite tuned correctly to work all of the time. So definitely something that they need to work on. I've been playing with Clubhouse for the last few weeks, and the best part for me is the serendipity. I've hosted a couple of rooms, I've been called up on stage to discuss topics of interest, and I've just had a lot of fun really interacting and meeting 
brand new people. If you're busy and not interested in hopping up on stage, you can really put Clubhouse in the background and just listen to the audio conversation like you would talk radio or a podcast. But the real beauty is that you can really lean into the application and form new connections. A lot of folks are starting to use this as a new type of LinkedIn where you can really foster deep connections and deeper conversations with people than you would be able to on other platforms or other social applications. Clubhouse has a number of other features, but that's the basic overview of Clubhouse. You can follow me on Clubhouse. I'm G. Rays. My name is Greg Rays. I love talking about technology, entrepreneurship, and design. I hope I'll catch you in the next one.